MSX with a new Bleach Immortal Souls video. I want to do a deep dive into both You Are Keen and You Are Matsumoto since they were just released. Both of them for the summertime event. Both are URs. I went ahead and spent the entire evening getting them and getting them loaded up so I can show you how they look at five stars okay they both are five stars at level 95 you can see you are Geen is sitting at 122996 if you look at Matsumoto she's sitting at 121381 so they're incredibly close if you look at Geen he's a damage and rage control I set them up like I normally do so first off let's go ahead and take a look at the upgrade they're at level 64. For promote, they're all one awaken stone across the board except for the attack, which I do have at two because that was a mistake. So I did them both at two because of that. And under awaken, they're each one each. The awaken weapon is loaded up. And what that does for Gein is deals damage to the enemy back row with an 80% chance to steal 200 rage from a target and transfer 80% of the stolen rage to the ally with the highest attack except Gein. If the targets have less than 500 rage after his rage attack, Gein deals additional damage to his targets equal to 100% of his attack. Very nice skill set, especially when it's wakened. Because once it's awakened, the damage is greatly increased. The percentage of rage with the highest attack received is increased as well as if the targets have less than 500 rage after his rage attack. The target's equal to 100% of his attack. Deals the additional damage. Very nice. As you can see, level 95. I have them both at red 1. Let's look at the skill sets really quickly. For Gein, his mastery skills, it deals damage to a single enemy plus 20% additional damage for each 100 points of rage Gein currently has, not to exceed 120%. And that base is skill damage of 178.8 plus 950. Under the rage skill, as we talked about earlier, which I read, it deals damage to the enemy back roll and it has an 80% chance to steal 200 rage. I went through this earlier. And the skill damage percentage on that one is 213.8 plus 1330. For the passive skill, when he's on the battlefield, he increases damage rate and block pierce chance for the back row. When his HP is above 50%, he deals a 30% increased damage. The damage rate increases 9.7% at where I have him currently at. The block pierce chance increases by 19.4%. So those are decent stats to say the least. I currently have a Warsaw of crit on him. I do have the heroic Warsaw maxed out, which is a nice one. It increases the attack of all skill specialty characters by 4%. And his talent is in Kampachi Contest. The attack of all characters is increased by 2%. Let's take a quick look over here at Matsumoto. Again, Matsumoto, she's defense, support, dispel. As I mentioned earlier, everybody is at level 64 on upgrade. On promotion, Weakened Stone is one across, except for the attack, which is two. And everything is awakened up one. The awakened weapon for Matsumoto it deals damage to all enemies and reduces the attack of all targets by 15% for two rounds. She gains morale for two rounds and she dispels all debuffs from all allies. Morale. Damage reduction rate is increased by 15% when being attacked by basic attacks and mastery skills. There's a 60% chance to reduce the attacker's rage by 200. The skill damage is 178.8 plus 1330. And her, in her case, when you awaken the weapon, damage is greatly increased like usual. The enemy attack is further decreased and an effect is added that dispels the debuffs. That's what makes her awaken weapon so good because you get the dispelled debuffs from all allies when you awaken that weapon. That's what makes that one key. Let's go ahead and 
as I mentioned, level 95, red plus one, I have a Warsaw of Vigilance on her at this time. Her Heroic Warsaw is maxed and it increases the effect reduction rate of all characters by 3%, which is definitely nice. And her Talent increases the damage rate of all male characters by 1%. This one is crazy good because if you check out the stats for it, you can get off. If you can actually max it out, which I doubt many of us will, including myself, you can increase the damage rate as much as 3% for all males. That's pretty impressive. They're both definitely solid characters, without a doubt. Let's go ahead and show them in action here. I have a team set up. I'll show you the formation. Real simple team. I have Matsumoto on the front line. And on the back line, I have Gein. I tried to not put any crazy offensive characters in here so we can have time to watch them. Let's start with Faz. Because Matsumoto is free, that's a no-brainer getter, even if it's just three stars. Gein is probably very worth it. I, I can see him doing some insane work and actually really benefit arena teams. The problem is What's it going to take to get him? And that's what's kind of discouraging with what I said previously. I did not think the pull ratios, especially after 26, really made it cost effective for anybody, even if you have a lot of resources saved up. But it's kind of nice I put Lisa in here too so you can get a chance to see her again and see how well she is. She's just a solid character. And we'll get one more shot with Gein. Let's see if he can take out this white. Oh yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the stats here real quickly. As you can see, yeah, you Matsumoto is not going to be an offensive. It, it's a defensive based skill set character. But let's look at Gein. And he did pretty well if you look at it. He definitely had the most attack over everybody else. Not saying I have anybody in here completely pumped up, but to see him compared to a, a seven star Aizen version one, it's nice to see and it's encouraging. All right, let's go ahead and do another battle so you guys can see them in action. But they're definitely solid characters. If you can get them both, I recommend it. Just be very weary when you're doing this. Don't be overly optimistic. You will get a lot of stuff that you need, which is nice. Lots of Awakened Stones were dropping, which is always a big plus. Yeah, that Gein does decent damage. He's, he's going to turn out to be a formidable character, I really believe. I did not expect this battle to go this quickly. Let's see if we can find something a little stronger. Let me look real quick. See, look at it again. Gein is up there. His, his attack compared to everybody else. is definitely he is producing much more offense than anybody else so that's very encouraging maybe i made this team still a little too strong okay let's see what he does i love back row hitters Okay, he's got an Orihime, so that should make this battle last a bit longer, at least. Oh, not when you disorient her. Oh, 
darn it, Matsumoto got stunned, shoot. I really wanted her to be able to display her skill set again. But Gein being a Azure Dragon is just nice to you because he's always going to hit that first round. There we go. She definitely does okay, but she's definitely not at the standard of Gein. Let's take a look at these data statistics one more time. Yeah, as you can see again, even though it's much closer this time, Gein is still having the higher attack over everybody. So, I will put out some more testing video, hopefully in the next few days. But I wanted to get this out so you guys could actually see what a five star of Gein and Matsumoto look like. I hope this helps make your decision on how you're gonna proceed. But I think if I had to pick between the two, I would focus on Gein, unless you really need that defensive character. But I feel like there are other options to this Matsumoto summer event, where the Gein just has, I don't know, it just something seems to be clicking with how they set up the skill set from what I've seen and what I can imagine using him for. All right, everybody, like and subscribe. I hope you're having a great day.